Travel and living outside a native country is an essential component to ASEAN regional integration and globalization. In this next story, our reporter Panuk Wong Sha Um met with five expatriates from ASEAN countries in Bangkok who shared with us their experiences and their thoughts on the benefits and challenges of moving beyond the national borders. More in this report. Since it was founded, ASEAN is essentially an intergovernmental organization, a club of government officials and diplomats of leaders and dignitaries who get together to talk about the shared interests of Southeast Asia. On the other side of that coin are those individuals who already venture across the national border to reap the benefit from the shared culture and the similarities as well as the opportunity that exists within Southeast Asia. Here are some of their stories from those who live right here in the city of Bangkok, Thailand. The classical and romantic German composer Ludwig van Beethoven must be proud if he could learn that his music have inspired millions across the world, not least in modern-day Bangkok, centuries after they were composed. Forging a friendship beyond national border, 22-year-old Kin Mian Mon from Yangon, Myanmar, and her Thai friends at Mahidon's College of Music practiced Beethoven together for their class. Yeah, it is a great challenge for me to study here. And this is, how to say, the culture is not so different, but um, still a lot of things very different with Yangon and Bangkok. And here I, I have a chance to study with um, very qualified teachers, and I have a lot of talented um, seniors and friends, and it's a great challenge for me. And it's make me, how to say, make me remind me like I need to do more and I need to try hard and yeah. Dream of furthering her study in Europe and one day return to promote classical music in her homeland, Kin started her musical training at the Gita Med Music Center in Yangon and is one of many young people in the region to venture abroad to better hone her crafts. Across town at the Turikit Bandit University, Monoram Eng and Vani Huak from Siem Reap, Cambodia are welcoming a guest at the university hotel as part of their bachelor training in hospitality and tourism. With one eye on the ASEAN economic integration and the free flow of labour in the hospitality sector, 24-year-old Vani knows that his training here will go a long way in helping him compete for jobs in the region's markets. Uh, in, the, in the next five years, we will have one big community that uh, all the ten countries will join hand together to develop the economy. So I can say the boom of economies will be broader, wider. It means like more hotels, more service, service industry, business, and other companies from international business and national business. So I can say there's a lot of job waiting for us in the next five years. 24-year-old Mono Ram, who dreamed that one day he would become an owner of a resort in his hometown of Siem Reap, also want to travel around ASEAN to gain as much experience as possible in hospitality. Mm, if I can, I, I, want to, I want to run my own business in, as hotel, hotel manager of my own hotel. But if I can't, I just work for other people that work in hotel or it can be I want to be a lecturer in hospitality and tourism. I think they, they can uh, produce more human resource in, in the regions because like some, some country like Laos, Cambodia and Vietnam they have very low human resource so if they can come to Thai, Thailand or can be Singapore or Malaysia they can uh, upgrade their human resource management and and then they can work with other, other hotel chain, international hotel chains. And then the, the, re, the revenue for the, the people, the local people will be increased. For many professionals in ASEAN, working across border has been both an opportunity and a challenge that required a certain level of professional determination and cultural open-mindedness, like Mare Poritanita, a young Indonesian office worker in Bangkok who studied in Thailand before started working here. I came from, which is uh, central Java. So uh, after I finished school here in the Indonesian embassy, I'm studying in uh, APEC, Assumption University. Uh, there, even though there are lots of um, other foreigners from Europe, America, but then 
uh, there are lots of Thai people. Those Thai people, like, they are the one who teach me like lots of uh, about Thai cultures and everything. And I'm surprised that um, we 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 actually have a similar like an ancestors and everything. But then uh, the the culture, the acculturation of the culture is still really really deep. Started from the Indonesian school Bangkok, which is located within the Indonesian embassy's ground, Mary, along with many young Indonesian expats who grew up in Thailand, possesses a strong sense of Indonesian identity and at the same time are more open to living and working in Thai society. 27-year-old Dimas Haristopan Saraki, who was born and grew up here in Thailand, felt that ASEAN integration could not come soon enough to make people like him feel more at home in Southeast Asia. It's I'm also waiting for the integration of the ASEAN community because like for my own experience, I was born here and grew up here. I feel like I'm, I, I belong to this country, but, but, but my nationality and my family all, 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 are all Indonesian. And due to the different laws, different countries, I, I feel like there, there are some barriers to, to, to live in, in other countries. If the ASEAN community happen, I hope that I will more feel belong this country. Uh, I belong to this country too. Four years from now, the lives of these individuals who are either living or sojourning through Bangkok will be followed by many more and in many other towns and cities across Southeast Asia as the agreement between the governments of ASEAN will hopefully widen the education and professional opportunities for the people of this region. The stories of these individuals are reflections of similarities and differences, of hopes and dreams, of opportunities and challenges that came about from those who have looked beyond national borders and seized the day. I'm Panu Wong Chum of Thai News Agency, reporting for RCN TV.